In this video, I'm going to show the process of how to view your Pag-ibig contribution using the virtual Pag-ibig website. Simply go to pagibigfund.gov.ph. Click the virtual Pag-ibig tab and select for members. On the next page, we will see various services available on the website. From this list, I will choose view records. There are two categories of records. Let's say I would like to view my savings records. As we can see, a pop-up appeared on the screen. It says that I have to log in for security reasons. I'll press continue. On this page, we can either create an account or log in an existing account. Since I don't have one, I'll click the Create Account button. There are three ways for us to create a virtual Pag-ibig account. The first option is via the Loyalty Card Plus. The second way is to create and activate an account online. And the last option is for OFWs. I'm going to choose the second option. The next page will show an application form which will only ask for a few details, which are as follows. MID number, last name, first name, middle name, birth date, and a valid and working mobile number. The system will verify if all input is correct. If it is, an OTP will be sent to the number specified on the form. I'll enter the OTP code that I received and press the Proceed button. On this page, I need to enter and confirm my email address. Answer security questions. Verify the place of birth. And enter my mother's maiden name. I also have to prepare and upload a valid ID. Remember that if you have a passport, then you can just upload that. However, if you don't have one, you can choose two from this list of IDs. Let's try selecting the other IDs option. As we can see, we are directed to enter two IDs. Since I have a passport, so I will just select and upload that. Another requirement is to take and upload a selfie holding and showing the valid ID. Make sure that the identity details are clear and readable. I already prepared my selfie holding my passport. I'll select and upload that picture. After answering all the required fields and uploading all files, I will tick this box to certify that the information I shared is true and correct. To complete the process, I will press the submit button. At this point, I have successfully created my virtual Pagibig account. For now, I am going to end this video and once my account is activated, I am going to show how will I log in the first time. Please stay tuned for that next video. In the meantime, please consider subscribing to my channel to be notified of updates and new uploads. Thank you!